Hi everyone, this company reached out to me from, uh, I think they sell on Amazon, and they asked me to do an unboxing video. So they did send this to me for free. Um, they have, I'm not being paid for this video. They did ask me to give my honest review of this product. Um, so they sent it to me in the mail and I just received it. So it came nicely packaged in an Amazon box, and then it also came inside of this box. Inside of that box is a nice uh, cloth cover, just like a lot of the other big companies that sell leather planners and leather goods that come with a protective uh, cloth cover. This one did as well. Oh, it feels amazing. It's natural leather. I love how chunky this stitching is and also the hardware is amazing so on the back I noticed that the hardware does match here here as well as here sometimes you'll notice on some companies this part ends up being silver but they did match all of it on the exterior and then here that just comes with over time this has six rings in it so I guess in in American sizing, we would call this like personal size. Um, they call it an A6, but I will show you a comparison here soon with my Hobonichi. So you'll see what a true like Japanese A6 is versus uh, this size here. Wow, so it just flops open nice and flat. Has a nice sleeve here place for a card slot here. Let's test the zipper. Oh, that zipper is smooth. Very nice. And it's this kind of texture inside of the leather pocket. And then there is, even though it has a pocket, there is still another slot behind the pocket. So that's really nice and useful. So inside, this is silver. Um, it comes with this sleeve here, so you can choose to use it this way. Half of the pages are ruled and lined. Very nice paper. I think this actually, it's pretty smooth. I think it'll do pretty well with fountain pens. And then the other half of the paper is blank. And I love that it just comes included with a zipper pouch. I always have a zipper pouch in a planner. And then back here is another pocket as well as a pen loop. So here you'll see that this is screwed in. So I wanted to see, I had bought some field notes recently. So this is my field notes and I wanted to see how it looks in here. Oh, that's perfect. So you can see, you can have all of this in here. And if you like to carry another little notebook with you, it's going to fit fine. Let me see how the, and this, as you can see where the rings end, as you can see where the rings end here, they don't interfere with the field notebook itself. So another option as well is, you could instead maybe put one in this pocket up here. Let me see how that does. Oh, look at that. Same thing. I can put this here if I wanted to, and I could close it all the way with the snap closure. Let me show you in here. So this one, it does touch the rings there, but this one, there's hardly any contact at all because of the spacing and how it's in in there. The following items will have affiliate links listed below. I am an Amazon affiliate. They may pay me a small commission if you choose to buy these items from their website. Um, so thank you so much for supporting this channel. And so these items can be found below. So you could fit additional little bitty notebooks. Any of these field note notebooks will fit in here as well. So the other option is 
you can hack it in that. Let me show you what I like to do with some of these binders. Over the years, I have really been converted. I don't use a lot of binders as much as I used to. So I got this very small screwdriver on Amazon. I'll link it below. It's called the Teeny Turner. And this one, it has a lot of different heads, but today I'm gonna to use the flat head. When I store the, when I take it out, I usually store the little rivet that came in it. I replace this usually with an eyelet. I'll use my crocodile and replace this little hole here with an eyelet and then I can put notebook of choice that I want in here. Now sometimes you'll need to use a set of pliers to hold on to the other side to take the other one out. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. I love how floppy the leather is and I want to use it without this guy in here. So that's what I'm doing. Well, this other one took a little more muscle. I had to get a bigger screwdriver and my rusty pliers, but we were successfully able to get them out. And this is what it looks like after they are removed. The front and then this is the back. I'm replacing it with the wide eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers, these ones on the upper right. And I'm using the large yellow crocodile. So these bronze, as you can see, match um, the hardware on the exterior of this binder perfectly. They are a perfect match. They're also the perfect size. They cover the side of, um, they cover up the old, I guess I would call it scar marks on the exterior side. And then I'm able to press it down just right. Now We Are Memory Keepers makes two different holders. This one here is too shallow it won't go deep enough. So that's why I use this big one. I've had this one from back in my old scrapbooking days and um, it can really uh, cinch down and you can get the leather as deep as you need it to be. So the top of this has like a post where the eyelet fits and then the bottom plate is semi-domed, almost flat. So when you press down, it causes the eyelet to spread out perfectly and it holds grips onto this leather just right. So another perfectly amazing Amazon find is this uh, book right here. If you look at the measurements, it's 4.25 inches wide by 6.75 inches tall. That is the perfect fit for this binder. The pocket, if you measure from one sewn seam to the other, is seven inches. So this at 6.75 is just right. I've been looking for a notebook like this because this one is very unique. It's called Right in the Rain, and it's specifically to be able to use outdoors. So in Texas, we can have very humid days, and if you use regular paper outdoors, it can kind of get wrinkly due to the humidity. Other times it's raining or in the heat of the summer, I'm sweating. And when I'm on a construction site, I need to be able to sometimes write down notes and have them with me and not have them smear and things like that. So this is the perfect notebook and I'm so happy that it fits perfectly in this binder. It's nice, it has a table of contents. I'm able to put my name in it and all of the pages are numbered, so that's amazing as well. And it's really made for outdoor construction. It's ruled, but also there's these faint dots so you can create grids and you can even draw things to scale. So they have an inches marker in here. You can put what scale things are to on the, on the bottom of each page. They also have centimeters. So this is the perfect notebook to take outdoors um, for anything for engineering or sketching and things like that that you need on a construction site like I do. So I really, really love how it fits in here 
perfectly. And I can just toss this into my construction pouch. And um, they also have a pen that they sell on Amazon that you can get with this actual book. But as you can see, this planner cover is the perfect size. I really love this leather. It's going to age really well outdoors. Now, just as a comparison of sizes, this is a field notes. So I could use this notebook and put a field notes in the front pouch, or I can tuck it all the way in into this back pouch. Again, the wonderful thing of this planner cover, it will snap and close and fit multiple books as well. So that is the uh, size for the field notes. Now, I also wanted to show what an A6, traditional Japanese A6 size. So if you think of like a Hobonichi A6, um, that's what the size of this Tomoe River paper is. Um, I'm going to take it out so that we kind of <laughs> get some of this glossy shine out of our face, faces here. But this is a true A6. So you'll notice that um, this Tomoe River paper, this is great for fountain pens, uh, testing out fountain pen ink. If you were to use that in here, it would fit and it would be nice or Hobonichi. The thickness will fit, but it's going to be a bit short. Um, so I wanted a book that was going to fit a little bit taller. If you get a true eight, A6 and put that in here, it's going to be quite a bit shorter. Same is true of the field notes. A field notes book is uh, not only shorter, but it's also skinnier than a traditional A6. So that's going to be very small, and that's why I recommend the field notes to be used in the pockets of this particular planner. I also tried a Lorstrom 1917. Uh, this one is their pocket size. Again, it is thinner and it is shorter, but the color of this edition, the special edition, matches perfectly. So if you don't mind it being a little bit smaller, you might enjoy using this book inside of this planner. This one can also be found on Amazon. The planner cover, as well as these books, will all be posted in the links below. But by far, I know this is going to be my favorite book and the preferred one that I'm going to use in this planner cover. It is just absolutely perfect. And um, it's going to be able to weather any type of storm, humidity, rain, um, or sweat that I might have on a construction site. So again, I'm going to link this planner below. This leather is amazing quality. Um, it can be used as a regular planner with the rings. It has wonderful paper in there to be able to use with fountain pens. It's very smooth. All the hardware matches it perfectly. The stitching is amazing. But then also you can hack it like I did and use it for other notebooks like this one that's also on Amazon. So again, I'll post all those links below. If you enjoy um, hacking planners like this and using leather covers, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.